everyone. Let's walk through this first step of making sure that your lead contact and opportunity records within Salesforce have the two fields you need to do first and last touch, or the way I view it is first touch and then opportunity source. <coughs> I've labeled these as lead source and lead source original. So um, those are the two fields we need on every object. So the setup for each object is essentially the same. So we'll get into Salesforce and you have to go into the setup area. <coughs> and I'm going to open my object manager and we'll start with leads since that's where most of you will start out in. I'm gonna move myself over here. Okay, so you're gonna live in this field of relationships. Now, lead source is going to already be in your instance. It's a standard field in Salesforce. So you're not going to have to create that, at least for the lead record. But you are going to have to create a lead source original field. Um, and this lead source field updates as contacts or leads uh, interact with your brand and do different activities. That'll update. But the lead source original is the one that will essentially stamp the first value and then it will never change. So you just need to make both of these fields, make sure that they're here. What I like to do is make sure that the lead, the lead source is a pick list field. Uh, that's just standard and you'll just change the values in there to be what you want. What I end up doing though is I make sure that the lead source original field is a text field. I make it long enough to make sure that anything within the pick list will fit. And uh, <coughs> The reason for this is if it's just a text field, there is less room. Since I'm not actively updated it, updating it, and you know most people don't have access to edit it, uh, a text field will make it so I don't run into errors as easily, just because you can throw anything you want in there. But it'll be standardized because we're pulling values from the lead source field. So if you haven't created a field before, you just do that here with a new field. So if I was creating the lead source original, I would do a text field. My face is in the way there. Uh, <coughs> I'd add in the label, the length of characters, the maximum length of text characters that I want to be able to fit. You can add in a description. You finish this through security, showing like which profiles you want to be able to view it. If you want it to add in the layout, you would save, and then your fields will be created. So you do that for the lead object, the contact object, and the opportunity object.